and welcome back to my channel Sarah Says. I want to start this video by saying a big massive sorry for the lack of video to be uploaded last week. If you're part of our main channel or you're part of our iFam and you watch our main channel The Ingham Family then you may know we spent last week with an incredible opportunity to visit Dubai and oh my goodness you guys we had the most incredible trip ever if you've not already watched those videos head on over to our main channel they will be in a playlist or just a few days down because it was only last week when we went and we had the most incredible pre-Christmas getaway trip Ever. that place is amazing and we had so much fun but our busy schedule over there did mean that I had to not upload on this channel and I had to miss a week so this week I'm hoping to make it up to you guys by doing something that lots and lots and lots of you have been asking me to do for quite a few weeks now <laughs> and that is a haul like a Christmassy type haul and so as the title probably says today I'm going to be doing a stocking filler gift ideas inspiration type haul I hope some of you guys will find it useful maybe it will give you a bit of inspiration on stockings I know that some people really struggle and each year that goes by for me it seems to get a little bit harder but I just want to also say that we don't go crazy on stockings in the respect that we don't spend we don't buy expensive gifts for stockings most of what you're going to see is probably from the pound shop or the range or B&M or home bargains and they're all about a pound two pound I think actually the most expensive thing is probably like four or five pounds I can't remember but it's pretty much cheap stocking fillers that are exciting to open on Christmas morning I have a six a nine and a 13 year old and they're I'm pretty lucky in the respect that they all like pretty much the same thing so my youngest will like lip gloss and nail varnish just as much as my eldest Isabel who's 13 would like squishies and toys and novelty pens etc etc so it makes it quite easy there's going to be a variety of age things in this little haul starting off with this detangle hairbrush and I got this from b and &M. <laughs> I got this from B&M it was about one pound 99 I think maybe maybe two pound fifty something like that it definitely wasn't more than two pound fifty and if you've got girls hairbrushes are always something that you can just never have enough of especially if you've got three girls like I do in my house and they've all got longish hair I've got longish hair so hairbrushes are something that we must have around 50 in this house or something but I thought this was quite nice it's got cactuses on it and it would make a nice stocking filler I don't know about you guys and your children but my children are absolutely obsessed with squishies anything that's squishy in shops they just have to go over and feel it and squish it and just play with it so squishies always go down well in our house and I picked up these from home bargains which are Disney princess and my girls love Disney princess in fact we all love Disney in this house but these are so cute so they come in all different Disney princess characters there's Belle, Snow White, Rapunzel, Aurora, Cinderella and I just thought they'd make quite a nice stocking filler they look a tiny bit more special than the usual the usual unicorn or food and cake type ones and they come in a nice little bag so I thought they'd be super sweet one thing that's actually turned into a tradition in our family to have in your stocking that is my fault because I buy them every year um, but I hate them is these tinsy wincy bubblegum let me see if I can just focus the camera bubblegum machines now these are literally from the pound shop or home bargains or the you can get them anywhere and these ones are one pound and you can get them in a variety of colors I think we have blue pink and yellow but they also come in like red and green and I mean there's nothing to explain it's a tiny gumball machine the girls absolutely love them and I don't know why I hate them <laughs> I found these cute unicorn sparkle drops 
from B&M. They were a pound and they also come in a mermaid version. They're like jelly beans with like a pearlescent kind of colour on them and I just thought they'd make quite a nice stocking filler. Another thing that we always tend to have in the girls' stockings on Christmas morning is, uh, what would you call them? Bath items? What would you call them? Like, wash items? Things that you get washed with, things that you can use in the bath, things that you can, you know, use when you're getting ready, etc. And I found these super cute body wash bottle, body wash, poof things from B&M. They were £1.29 each and I just thought they were so cute. So we've got this pink penguin. Uh, pink penguin? What is wrong with me today? This pink flamingo. We've got a super duper cute little mermaid. And then the most adorable unicorn rainbow little ball of joyness. These were £1.29 and I thought they were so, so cute and would make a really cute stocking filler. I also found these LOL or LOL sponges in the pound shop and I don't know about you guys but you will definitely know that my girls are LOL doll obsessed. They love LOL dolls, anything with LOL dolls on they get so excited about. So I picked up some of these, I thought they'd make a nice little, little stocking filler along with these little LOL doll hair detangling sprays or spritz. Um, like I said before with the hair brushes, having three girls and three, all three of them with really long hair, it's nice to have detangle spray around and the fact that these were from the pound shop so they were super cheap and that they're LOL doll I thought would be a nice little thing to fill their stockings with. Finally is bath bombs. I do like to get the girls a lush bath bomb but I haven't managed to get there this year and I was in Asda and they had some really 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 adorable bath novelty type bath bomb slash bath fizzers and they were all a pound or something like that and so I picked up three I got this one which is a green Christmas tree and it smells so good does it say the flavor on it it doesn't this is actually a bath fizzer it just smells of Christmas I can't really explain it it smells so good so I got this one I got a bright pink star one and I got a unicorn one as well but I really like these and I thought they'd make be nice in stockings and again they'll become useful the girls will definitely use them and they're super cheap too i found this super cute makeup blush i think it's a blush brush and it's really sparkly and in rose gold and when i saw this in tk maxx it was like three pound 99 and i thought this would make a really nice stocking filler for like a teenager or a young teen or even an older teen or even a 33 year old because i'd quite like this <laughs> <laughs> it's super soft and it's obviously a Christmas tree decoration but I thought it would be really nice little stocking filler and also on this note I haven't got them here at the moment but I know that home bargains sell this type of thing really really cheap like between one two and three pounds with lip glosses inside or nail varnishes or mini eyeshadow palettes and I just think they're really sweet very Christmassy and would make really nice stocking fillers for preteens or teen girls, I still need to go back and pick a few of those up. But I really, really, really like this blush brush. Another item that I always find goes down really well with preteens or teenagers or really any age is lip glosses or lip balms. I picked up these super cute novelty lip balms in Asda a few weeks ago. They were one pound. Obviously, you can see they come in a nice big packaging the lip gloss is just here and I actually bought these to go in the girls advent calendars however they didn't fit in the bags so I got something else and decided they would be stocking fillers instead and then from B&M the other day I picked up these which I thought was so nice so it's basically a pack of different lip balms in all different flavours and it just comes really nice packaging. The colours of the lip balms as well look really, really bright and colourful and super nice and they also have bubblegum flavour. So <laughs> these ones are the sweet shop flavours. You can also get cocktails which I kind of didn't think would be appropriate and you can also get cake flavours like 
angel cake or chocolate fudge cake etc but these are the sweet shop version you get rhubarb and custard lip balm pear drops bubble gum oh my gosh guys can't get enough of the flavor of bubble gum i love it so much in fact comment down below your favorite flavor of something so some people love like the flavor of banana or i don't know coffee bubble gum is just my thing anything bubble gum flavored oh I love it so much comment comment down below what your flavor is cola cubes sherbet lemon and strawberry bonbon these were two pound 49 and i thought they'd make a really nice stocking filler another stocking filler that always goes down well every single year in our family and always always gets used is stationery so i find stationery such a good thing to use to fill up stockings and you can get a massive massive range of stationery um you can go for novelty like christmas type things t christmas diaries and pens or you can just stay away from the whole christmas thing and go for something completely random like i did <laughs> i probably showed these in my advent calendar haul so it's basically a two pack of in fact one's a pencil and one's felt tips and i used to have these when i was younger and because the girls absolutely love bubble gums and these look like bubble gums i thought these would go down really well i didn't actually realize each bubble gum had a face on it i've just noticed that now but these are the pens where you can take off one ball from the bottom and pop it in the top and you get a different color and especially Esme and Isla and even Isabel in fact like to play with these and they think they're super cool so I picked up three of those they were actually from a shop in the Arndale Centre in Manchester it's like a knick-knack shop and I can never remember the name of it but I know last time I mentioned it one of you guys commented so comment down below if you know what I'm talking about it was in the Arndale Centre and it was upstairs and they just sold so much knick-knacks and I thought these would make a lovely addition to the girls stocking fillers and then these were actually meant to be for their advent calendars but again they didn't fit in the bags so we switched it up and I'm keeping them for their stocking fillers. So it's basically just, these are probably aimed maybe more towards Esme and Isla but it's basically some cute unicorn highlighters and my girls love highlighters. To be honest it doesn't matter what's on the front, they all work the same and I think the girls will have a lot of fun highlighting a paper with those slime unicorns and mermaids just seem to be the in thing this year or certainly in our family they are so i picked up these i can't i think i got this one was from the works <laughs> so this is so random i don't even know why i bought this but i can remember thinking at the time mm, they'll go in the girls stockings so it's a slinger unicorn <laughs> don't know why I find that so amusing but it's basically a unicorn slingshot they were a pound and they were from the works basically you get a pink one and a blue one it shows you on the back to pop it on your finger and sling it and the girls always have a lot of fun having a war like a kind of like a a battle with Chris with these where they can all have one each and they have to fire them at each other and they hide behind the sofa and just you know try and get each other and they always I don't know why they're super cheap super cheesy and tacky to look at but we always have so much fun with things like that so I picked those up and then I think these two were both from the range it's basically just some slime tubes these were like a couple of pound each and then I think these were £1 or £1.49. And I actually think these ones were from B&M. So it's basically just slime in a mermaid shell. Actually, it's mermaid, mermaid sparkle putty. So every year I like to get oh, I like to get the girls some sort of mystery package. So you know, like it's all in at the moment where you buy something from the shop but you don't actually know what you're going to get until you open the package and have a look inside now the excitement in our house when our girls receive anything like that is actually unreal all three of them <laughs> they get so excited at opening up their little present and finding out what's inside or which variety they've got so this year I've got a few. This one I'm actually so excited about because Esme came home from school like two days ago and said, oh my gosh, mummy, have you ever seen Adorables? 
I'm going to put them on my Christmas list. I'm so excited. My friend had one at school today and they're so cute. They're like tiny little toys about this big and you don't know what you're going to get until you open it. And so I was really excited because yeah, I do know what they are, Esme. And you've got one coming in your Christmas stocking this year. So it's kind of like a little box. And as I just said, there's two figurines inside. They're Disney and you don't know which one you're going to get until you open the box so i'm so glad i picked those up they're like two pound two pound fifty something like that and you can get those in supermarkets asda places like that another thing is these party pop teenies the girls have actually worked with this company before and we were very lucky in that they sent us some in the post but these are actually on sale everywhere at the moment like really cheap like two pound two pound fifty and inside you get it's like a rocket popper so you open it and it fires out confetti and then you get a doll inside and the girls really really liked them the last time we had them so i thought i would pop one in their christmas stocking this is probably the most random item that i've bought this was a pound from home bargains Esme and Isla, Isabel not so much anymore, but Esme and Isla absolutely love collectibles. When I say collectibles, I mean tinsy tiny toys that come in a range of varieties, a range of different ones that you can just collect. And these are Genie Girls Collection 1, and you get five genies. So as you can see, you get four that you can see, and then there's an extra one up here in this mystery box and i just picked those up basically because i thought the girls would like them they were cheap and they'll fill up their stocking nicely the final two mystery items like i said i did get a few mystery items because the girls just love them so much and always get they just bring so much excitement so the final two things are number one a lol bath fizzer i think inside these you get like an outfit or or and a pair of shoes I'm not sure. Oh, you, I think you get, yeah, you do. You get an outfit and a pair of shoes. And it's like a bath fizzer. These are £3.99 and the girls have, haven't had any of these yet. Um, so I thought I'd put one of those in their stockings. And then this final one, which I do have to admit, I got quite excited when I saw. How cool does this block of gold look? <laughs> it's a block of gold. And inside you get a tiny little hammer and you have to hammer away at probably concrete maybe I think it's probably clay clay or something inside you have to hammer away at it and you get a hidden gem inside there's lots of different ones to collect and there's a special limited edition one too so it says on the back here it comes with a hammer and a chisel which is so cute and a magnifying glass to check out your special rock. Five different stones to collect, as you can see here, they're all different. And I just loved that the reveal doesn't reveal itself as soon as you open this block of rock. You actually have to work by hammering away, chiseling and using your magnifying glass. And I just thought they'd be really, really cute. The girls will definitely enjoy doing these. This was £2 or £2.49 from b and m and it also comes in two versions so this is the gold block rock and then there was like a black one as well i'm not sure what was in that but i thought they would make a really nice stocking filler in our stockings every year we always get some nice comfy fluffy warm socks and i found this two pair of unicorn actually is that a unicorn it looks kind of like a pig it's a pig unicorn <laughs> no it's a unicorn unicorn socks from asda they were three pound and they're super soft super squishy they come in all sizes from really really small to this one which actually is my size and i just thought they'd be cute and then finally for this stocking filler little haul are some novelty chocolates so you cannot have christmas and a stocking without some chocolate coins you just can't and i picked up three bags of these you can get them literally anywhere and then i also picked up one of these cute smarty little robins that you can also get everywhere and actually every year 
Chris usually eats the girls <laughs> of these. But yeah, I just thought they were cute and would be a nice little sweet treat for their stockings this year. And that's it for my stocking haul. Hope this was helpful to maybe at least some of you guys. Maybe you've got a few ideas now if you're struggling or if you're if you're struggling <laughs> if you're struggling on what to buy hopefully this has given you a little bit of inspiration and a few ideas comment down below if it has and which item you like which item you'd like to get and don't forget to comment what your favorite flavor flavor is of things i'm really interested to read all of your replies i know lots of you have also been asking if i will do a a christmas haul a present haul i have filmed two of them already and I am going to be popping those up but for obvious reasons I can't pop them up right now however give it maybe next week what date is it yeah next week I can probably pop up one of those for you guys anyway hope you all enjoyed watching this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and you found it helpful and I will see you all again next Saturday bye guys mm -hmm.